welcome back to my very own reading corner so guys today i'm going to be reading a book to you guys called attract and repel a look at magnets so let's head on so before we start reading you guys can pause the video in case you want to look at a table of contents magnets stick drawings a lunch menu photos many people have things on their refrigerators but what makes them stick magnets a magnet is an object that sticks to some metals. Some magnets are natural. Lodestone is a natural magnet. Lodestone is a kind of mineral. So metal nails stick to this piece of lodestone. Most magnets are made by people. Man-made magnets come in many shapes and sizes. Man-made magnets can be shaped like horseshoes, discs, or bars. They come in other shapes too, like if you want it to be in a heart shape or a star shape. A magnet attracts only certain kinds of metals. A magnet stick to this metal, but magnet will not stick to all metals. A magnet sticks to steel. A magnet sticks to iron. Magnets do not stick to aluminum. They do not stick to copper. These copper bits are not attracted to the magnet but the steel bits above them are. Magnets do not stick to wood, cloth, or plastic either. Magnet force. A magnet can move an object without touching it. Magnets move objects through magnetic force. The force is invisible. You cannot see it. Magnetic force makes a metal ball move. So you guys know like if you have something like mag like uh, something made of iron let's say or steel and you have a magnet then it will automatically come to it because of the magnetic force or it can also be pushed away hold a magnet above a steel paper clip the paper clip will fly off the table it will stick to the magnet magnetic force moves from magnets into magnetic objects magnetic force can move from one magnetic object to another it can also move into magnetic objects that aren't even touching the magnet. The paper clips at the end of this chain aren't touching the magnet, but magnetic force moved into them through the clips at the top of the chain. Magnetic force can pass through non-magnetic materials. That's how magnets stick to this fridge. The force travels through the white plastic coating and attracts the metal underneath. Magnetic force can pass through plastic as long as the plastic isn't too thick. Magnetic force can pass through many materials such as glass, paper, and cloth. Magnetic force is passing through this paper. It's attracting the magnet to the metal locker. Magnetic poles. Magnets have two poles. The poles are the end of the magnet. There is a north pole and a south pole. The south pole of this magnet is on the left. The north pole is on the right. Put a magnet in a bowl of steel wool clippings. Most of the metal bits will stick to the ends. A magnet's force is strongest at the poles. What happens when you put two magnets next to each other? If two south poles or two north poles get too close, they push each other away. That means they repel each other. So repel is another word for pushing away. The south poles of these magnets are close to each other. The magnets repel each other. If opposite poles are close, the magnets move together. They attract each other. So um, if they move together or like, like touch together, then that means they are getting attracted. The north pole and the south pole of these magnets are close. The magnets attract each other. Magnetic Earth. Earth is like a giant magnet. It has a North Pole and a South Pole. People learn that a magnet's North Pole points toward the North Pole of Earth. Inventors use this information to make the compass. A compass needle has a magnetic force. It points north. These boys use a compass to tell them which way is north. How we use magnets. People use magnets in many ways. Magnets keep refrigerator doors closed. 
Magnets in this refrigerator door help the door stay closed. They are used in speakers and earbuds. They are also found inside computers. Giant magnets are used to make electricity. And this train uses powerful magnets to float above its track. People have found many ways to use a magnet's force. How do you think magnets will be used in the future? So here's an activity you guys can do and if you guys want to do this activity you guys can pause the video and look at the instructions. And here's the glossary in case there were some words you might not have understood and um, you guys can find the definitions here by pausing the video. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video guys. So guys, I have um, one question for you guys and that is what is the meaning of attract and what is the meaning of repel? So I want you guys to define those two words. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in another awesome video. Bye guys!